Hello, children. What do I have here? That's right, it's an elephant. Do you know what his name is? Have you seen him before? Have you read a story or listened to a story with him in? He's called Elmer. Hello. Look at him, isn't he lovely? Look at all the colours. Wow. We're going to read a story now about Elmer. Elmer by David McKee. There was once a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall, fat and thin. Elephants like this, that or the other, all different, but all happy and all the same colour. All that is except Elma. There he is. Elma was different. Elma was patchwork. Elma was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Elma was not elephant colour. It was Elma who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants, sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile, it was usually Elma who started it. Elma sounds like such fun. One night, Elma couldn't sleep for thinking. And the thing he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. As if you notice, children, Elma looks like this. As you can see there in the picture, and all the other elephants are what colour? And they're all the same, aren't they? Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they would laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Elma slipped quietly away unnoticed. Hmm, I wonder what he's going to do. As he walked through the jungle, Elma met other animals. They always said, good morning, Elma. And each time, Elma smiled and said, good morning. Hmm. What is he doing? Hmm. Great. After a long walk, Elma found what he was after, a large bush. A large bush covered with berries. A large bush covered with elephant coloured berries. Elma caught hold of the bush and shook it and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Yeah, he's rolling around in the berries. Why? What do you think he's going to do? What's going to happen next? Once the ground was covered in berries, Elma lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way and back again. Hmm. Then he picked up a bunch of berries and he rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Elma looked like any other elephant. Look at him! Oh my goodness. What do you think? Do you think he looks better? Hmm. After that, Elma set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. Each time Elma smiled and said, good morning. He was pleased he wasn't recognised. Look, which one's Elma? When Elma rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. 
None of them noticed Alma as he made his way to the middle of the herd. Which one's Alma? After a while, Alma felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle. Same old bright sky. Same old rain cloud that came over from time to time. And lastly, same old elephants. Hmm, what do you think, children? I think it's a bit boring, don't you? Without the colour, without Alma. Alma looked at them. Hmm. The elephants were standing absolutely still. Alma had never seen them so serious before. The more he looked at the serious, silent, still standing elephants, the more he wanted to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted up his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, <laughs> The elephants jumped and fell, always in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said, and then saw Elmer helpless with laughter. <laughs> Elma, they said, it must be Elma. Then the other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. <laughs> the elephants still laughed as Elma was washed back to normal. Oh, Elma, gasped an old elephant, you played some jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. As they laughed, the rain cloud burst, and when the rain fell on Elma, his patchwork started to show again. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. All the elephants must decorate themselves and Elmer will decorate himself elephant colour. Wow, that is exactly what the elephants do. Look at them all. Which one's Elmer? Yeah, there he is. He's elephant colour just for the day. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you will know it must be Elmer. And there he is. And isn't it wonderful to be colourful? Isn't it wonderful to be different? It's just good to be just who you are and be happy. The end. <laughs>